Hello, Bobby McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me here at the Freak Show as I continue and conclude with my base assault here in XCOM Long War, episode 128. All right, so... Huh. I have a feeling this is going to be really, 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 really bad. So, with that being a more than probable scenario, I think... It might behoove me to... I don't know. Maybe set up... A death corridor? Something like that? I know that excites a lot of people. I'm pretty exciting, excited just saying it, so... How about I do that? How about instead of going into the room, which is what I'm pla I was planning on doing, I actually sat here and I thought about it for a few minutes before I decided to start this episode up, and I decided that, you know, there's a better than not... Oops. Ah! Better than not chance that there's a lot of really bad crap going to come through that door. And I would very, very much like it if it didn't murder me. So, what I believe I'm going to attempt is set off as far as I can on either side. Now, this might not work. Please bear this in mind. Actually, I might not even set off on either side. I might stay right where I'm at. The downside is there's, like, no cover here. Anyhow, long story short... Um, I think I'm going to get Murphy's Law to actually go and do some scouty scouty action. Aye, aye. And if that is indeed what he does, it should work out pretty nice. We're going to do that. You're going to be coverful. Captain Surprise Lake Kirk, I want behind cover, okay, so I'm going to throw him over here. So you can lob out grenades. You can just sit there. Probably not going to be able to do much. Um, need to get Blood Mantis into a position to just murder fools. I think that'll actually work out pretty well right there. Johnny Casino Rico. Yeah, there's literally no cover here at all. So, maybe... I guess you just have to sit there and hope oh, for the yeah. best. Uh, attack. Can just reload. And Brett Yeti Woods can do the same thing over on this side. And we're gonna hope... We're going to hope that this death hall trap thingy that I'm planning on is going to work. Because I really don't think it's going to work super well. But it might. It might. So, before I go through, I'm going to need to be able to move in and then fall back. That's going to be the plan. It might not work, guys. This might be a terrible idea. It might end up getting me killed. I'm not sure. But I'm going to give it a shot. Roger that. Go loud. Okay, and apparently I just aggroed like 3,000 enemies. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 enemies, no big deal. They do seem pretty upset. There's at least one squid, maybe two. There's that guy way down there. Alright, so we have a few options here available to us. Unfortunately, none of them actually do anything to help us. Take that 61% shot. Ooh, we're gonna actually land it and kill the guy. Very nice. Okay, so that happened. Uh, Captain Surprise Lake Kirk is going to reload. Pretty sure we don't have a shot with Blood Mantis. Okay. Do that. Jenny Casino Rico is going to Overwatch. I'm probably gonna send Tac over here. Moving to position. Uh, Fred Yeti Woods gonna Overwatch. I suppose we could send our medic over here to overwatch from as far back. I don't know. And Murphy's Law is going to go crap and back up. Lighting reflexes will definitely trigger. The downside is I think I walked out a little bit too far. So that might be problematic. We'll see. I figure standing there is going to be better than standing out in the open. But we'll see. Hopefully enemies come charging toward us. Somewhat slowly, I hope. But we'll see. We'll see whether they do or don't. There's a probability we have a squid up and amongst us as well, which is not fun. Alright, looks like there's some mental buffing going on over there. I see at least two or three little purple beams over in this region. Okay, a blood call going out. This guy's going to take a shot. Hopefully missing. Indeed he did. And I'm waiting to see the big mechtoid thing come walking up here, waltzing up, doing stuff, you know. But apparently that's not the case. Alright, um... I, I almost just want to stand, like, right here. 
I think I will. I think I'm gonna sit all the way back. As soon as something comes down the way, we should be able to murder it. I'm also gonna back up over now. behind this, and we're gonna do this like massive overwatching. And we're gonna hope for the best. I don't know. I'm scared. I'm actually quite scared. But it is simply what it is. Uh, if a squid comes after us, it should die. Anything that comes through that doorway or into the doorway where we see it, it should die. There should be a lot of dying involved with the enemy. We'll see. Should have reloaded my MEC though. There's a squid. And like I said, super dead. Like, super duper dead. Okay. So that happened. Alright, we're gonna overwatch again. You're going to reload. Resupply completed. You're going to reload. You're going to overwatch. You're going to overwatch. You're going to overwatch. And you're going to overwatch. Attack, you can reload. Back in. Alright, next up. I mean, they have to walk out to us, right? I hope. I mean, that's the thing they have to do, right? I mean, I realize that technically we're the ones that have to go fight them, but I would assume the aliens would be like, hey, there's somebody in our base. Let's go kill them. Okay, here comes the first individual. Gonna get wrecked a little bit, I hope. Nope. Damn it. He's totally fine, no big deal. How is it that we don't have the shot? Oh, he's dead now. He's down. He is down. Alright, we'll overwatch with you. We'll overwatch with you. Overwatch with you. Sorry guys, I know this is never the most exciting way of doing things, but I That's think it's going to work okay. And finally, why didn't her overwatch trigger, I wonder? Like, is Blood Mantis staring at this wall over here? I mean, it's like, hey, those are like weird metal steps. I like them. I don't know. I'm a little confused. Well, that did not do what I was anticipating. Alright, let's go take a peek. Which I'm terrified to do, by the way. Alright, Lightning Reflex is one. I'm sure there's going to be several of these coming our way. I'm hoping it's not too bad, like we don't get hit by like 10. Okay, it looks like possibly something's gonna happen soon. To we'll find location. out. I'll fall back again. Ironically, I can't get right back to where I was at before. Okay, I think I'm just gonna do mass overwatch. Alright, it's the aliens' turn once again. Let's see if they decide to show themselves. I think they might. And we're waiting, and we're waiting, and we're still waiting, and we're still waiting. You guessed it, we're waiting. Wow, there must be way more than ten aliens on, well, nine on that side now. Captain surprised like Kirk with the first shot, and he landed it, which is very impressive, I might add. Okay, next up. Come on, hit it, buddy, hit it. Yeah! So we can't get one more out. Get him, Jace. Boom, baby. Get handled. All right, that's sweet. That worked out really well. Enemy target eliminated. Okay, so there we have it. That's affirmative. A little bit more happening. We're gonna get a little closer. We're gonna overwatch. Again, I'm not sure what my sniper is overwatching or looking at right now, but okay. Attack, can overwatch, you can overwatch, you can reload. Reload complete. Uh, you reload as well. You overwatch. It's gonna be a nice, slow, steady pace, guys. I'm probably gonna let this one ride out. If it's a double episode, then it's gonna be a double. If it's a short one, it's gonna be a short. So somewhere in the range of that. I don't know. Maybe if it's gonna be super duper long, I won't I won't let it run through. Why is no one shooting right now? Like, I'm kind of okay with no one shooting, but not really. 
All right, give it a minute here. Let's see, what can my sniper do? My sniper can shoot at him and will. Okay, there's one thing down. This should be a pretty easy kill. Okay, we're gonna overwatch here. Overwatch here, overwatch here. I'm gonna move him back, actually. Aye, aye, Commander. And there we are. And I don't know why Johnny Casino Rico just doesn't seem to ever get the shots. I'm like, he should, but he doesn't ever seem to. I don't know why. I know, but we're slowly whittling through their numbers, slowly wearing them down. Or so I like to think. I like to at least tell myself these things, and they might not be true. But there is a possibility, there is a possibility that victory is within our grasp. It's within sight. Well, I heard more movement. Aye, aye, Commander. I'm gonna take another peek real quick. Alright, lightning reflexes. Whoa. That one actually sounded like it hit me. My dude grunted, he's like, whoa! Alright, so what are we looking at here? Two down there. Do we have anybody else who has a line of sight of them? Nope. Alright, we're gonna reload you. Reloaded. Overwatch with you. Overwatch with you. You guessed it, Overwatch. I'm gonna fall back. That's affirmative. Going to reload. And I guess Overwatch. We'll keep it coming, folks. We'll keep it coming. I mean, we've killed three or four so far. I mean, there's still plenty down there. Plus the big dude that we just don't know where he's at at all now. When we peaked enough, they should be able to know that we're there. And they should come after us, in theory. So let's hope they finally decide to man up and come. But it doesn't look like they are. They're like, nope, not gonna happen. He's still just chilling down there, huh? Alright, well, I'm just gonna move back and amass overwatch everyone, I guess. Well, almost everyone. I want you to reload still. You haven't fired that many times, but I'd rather have it on, on the full clip as opposed to missing a couple shots. It might be that one time I don't have to reload that will cause me to win. Or keep me from dying, I suppose. Come on. Really? Come on, aliens. Alien activity. That's right. You're supposed to do stuff. You're supposed to walk through the doorway and be like, Hi, guys. Uh-oh. This might be bad. But, like, guys? Really? I mean... This is apparently a thing. And you're gonna miss a shot where he just Damn it. murdered your face, huh? Well, that's a little bit better. Alright, well, you know what? I think I'm tired of this. I'm gonna just bomb the crap out of this area. Yeah. Unfortunately, I can't blow up the doorway. I was kind of hoping I could, actually. And I'm gonna go over there. I'm gonna throw a single heal at least. Possibly a double. Like, I don't understand why there's no Overwatch. I'm gonna throw the double heal. I think we're about ready to start heading out. Probably wait one more turn, but I think for the most part Position we're about ready. If he's lost, probably gonna sit like right the move. there, maybe? Move our sniper up. And steady the weapon. I'm gonna put tack maybe like right there as well. That's very bizarre positioning. You're floating in the in the sky, man. What are you doing? And Brett Yeti Wood, I guess, is ready to. He's a ready Yeti. All right. We end the turn and we see what's up. Hopefully, no one walks around and just is able to ignore our overwatching this time, but we'll find out here in just a moment, I suppose. 
Like, I hope somebody walks around the corner and just gets wrecked like this. Goodbye, Spider-Man. Kind of looked like he was doing, like, a Spider-Man pose there. It was like, what's up? God, that's gonna be bad. Please don't shoot us. Or shoot us. That's, that's, that was option two. Like, that was my second favorite thing you could have done. No, no, we're not really starting to lose ground. I, I know you feel as though we're starting to lose ground, but in reality, we're not at all. They're starting to lose ground. And he's going to die a horrible, awful death, but we're not losing anything. Other than our patience. Alright, well, Tack just got kind of, like, owned pretty hardcore there, so let's go heal this Tack up. And then we'll, well... I guess we're, we're out of heals at that point. So nobody's allowed to die from this point forward, folks. No one's allowed to die. Let's get out of the way. Let's send... Gosh. I really don't like this, but we're gonna have to do it anyway. Alright, this might hurt a little. Okay, it's gonna hurt a little bit more than a little. Okay, so, there's something there, I obviously, oh, I can, oh, I actually can't, okay, that's interesting, hmm, I'm gonna try to throw a grenade that far, I don't think it'll work, but maybe, yeah, that doesn't seem like a good idea, alright, not gonna do that. Commander. Gonna hope that I don't trigger any like additional groups. Okay, doesn't look like I did. Gonna murder that guy. We're in the zone. Hmm. I'm gonna give it a shot. Might as well. Ooh, almost killed him. That's kind of impressive. Oh, well, he's trying to intimidate him. I don't think it's gonna happen. Okay. Johnny Casino Rico can't quite do anything there. Can reload though. Tack can run and gun. Oh, I don't think this is going to end well at all. Alright, hold on. I'm pretty sure I know what's down here. Like, I'm pretty certain that I know what's in this little corner here, but... Now, off chance I'm slightly wrong. Let's give this a shot. I don't think we have enough to actually kill that, which means Murphy's Law is probably going to be in a tremendously huge amount of trouble. However... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, come on, buddy. You gotta land this attack. The whole world is counting on you. Okay, attack. I hope you brought your big boy pants, because you're going to need them. Moving to firing position. Oh boy. On the move. Okay, here we go. Please don't die to this. Please don't die to this. Okay, you're still alive. I hope. It's going to hurt. You're going to be out for a while, but... You're going to earn that vaca- Oh gosh, this isn't going to work. There's no way this has enough damage. Did we miss the second shot? What? Uh, like you? Huh? Ammo out. Like what? Oh my God! Is this for real? Oh, you better miss whatever it is that you plan to do, buddy. You better miss it. Oh. There are no words to describe the level of <clears throat> just abject horror I'm feeling right now. Like, this is terrifying. Holy crap, folks. Yeah, right in their face! Mm. Okay, so... Do, I don't... Whatever, sure. That happened. 
say goodbye to your head. Bye bye. Okay. We're green to go. Well, that was about as terrifying as you could possibly get. Sure, we'll roll with that. I'm actually scared to veer off at all from right down the middle here. Like, I am terrified right now. Good treat. Two of our people are completely crippled now. Our healer is totally out of heals. I mean, this is not good. This is not good. <laughs> oh, man. Reloaded. Ah, uh, I don't know. Alright, we'll just do that, and then... Yeah, okay, so, that happened. That was a super ridiculously bold and obnoxious play, but it worked out. Not sure why he decided to move away from Tack, but I'm fine with that. Murphy's Law and Tack are definitely doing the heavy lifting right now. And yeah, that happened. Alright, I'm terrified. Like, like, I've said it a few times already. But I am, like, ridiculously concerned with moving right now. Move. Any further than we've already moved. Like, super Back concerned. In. So I guess what I'm going to do I'm is probably line up this way. I'm, ready. I'm not going to move out any further that way. I'm going to move over here, see if there's anything in this area, real slowly. Once I get my, uh, my wall of death On lined up way. over here. I'm going to try to keep Tack and others out of line of sight and out of danger, if Good at all go. possible. I mean, scary, scary stuff, guys. Like, ridiculously scary stuff. Okay. Alright, so we're going to do that. I guess I'm going to chill there with our sniper. I don't know. Alright, here we are. And who's this? Murphy's Law? Alright. I still kind of need to move... Uh-oh. I still kind of need to move Murphy's Law as like the first one. That's affirmative. Because he can usually get back away if he... Come. Okay, there is something there. Good. Please let that be the only thing that we see. Alright, I'm gonna move here. And I'm going to attempt to lob a grenade over there. And hope that it hits any of the stealthy squids. I might have hit one, I might have killed one, I don't know, I can't tell. I think there's more there. But we'll see in a moment. Alright, first things first. Let's focus the big squid. Okay, I think that one's down. We'll double tap in a minute. Okay. I'm gonna go for the 73 on the back squid. Okay, that worked out. We're gonna go for the 68 on this guy. Wow, we're getting so freaking lucky right now. You guys don't even realize. Come on. 66, can we get that? Oh, uh, we missed that one. That's unfortunate. Alright, hold on. No way that just happened. Hold on, I, I'm still severely, severely nervous, but... Got eyes on the AO. Oh please! Yeah, there's still see, there's still a hidden squid in the back there. Uh huh. And I'm actually kind of concerned now. All right, if we land this shot, why why do I why do I even why do I even bother? I like I don't. I don't know why I even try. Half the time, folks, I just don't know. Oh. oh, come on, come on, land it, buddy. Yeah, that's not enough crap. All right. It's all on you, Lady JC. It's all on you, 62%. Yeah! All right. Whew. 
Holy crap. Oh. Okay. So that happened. Let's uh, recover from that. Sorry, guys. I know this is a little... Uh, I don't know. My commentary's probably oh, yeah. falling off, but... It sounds like I'm, I'm having a hemorrhoid yeah, attack or something, but I, I assure you... I am not having a hemorrhoid attack. Well, I, I don't think so. I've never had a hemorrhoid attack. But if I did, I wouldn't imagine it would be like this. Alright. So next up, I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to reload you. And I'm going to turn this way. We're going to try the same exact scenario. Moving out. Hoping that we don't trigger anything yet. And the downside to this scenario is... We no longer have one of those little little detector dealies, so it, this could be the end of us all. We'll find out soon. Ready to rock. And Commander Chase. Okay. Still hear stuff off to that side, I know. It's making me nervous too. Murphy's Law is going to make the move up here. And apparently there's nothing over here, maybe? Alright, I'm just going to do massive oh, yeah, right yeah. now. Because I'm terrified, I'm a scared little girl, and I don't want to die. And Murphy's Law is going to take another little further peek. Okay. And apparently there really is nothing over there. Okay. So I guess the next question is, do we go up the ramp or what? And I think the answer is yes, we do. I'm on it, Commander. But my my concern is, how do we go up yes, the ramp? Commander. Because we have a lot of stationary uh, gunners, and that is going to prove to be yes, more sir. than a little challenging. Considering we can't shoot and move at the same time, the ones that can aren't exactly in a position yeah, to do so anymore. It's one of those kind of catch-22 scenarios. Solid copy. All right, I guess I move tack over here now. Like I don't think we're done with you yet, Tack. You're still probably gonna support us in a very big way. Some sort of miraculous intervention, I'm sure of it. Just like uh just like Lady J C had to do some crazy ninjetic stuff to win that last little combat, but I don't know. Quiet. I don't know precisely what's something? going to happen, but I imagine we're gonna find out soon. I'm on it, Commander. Oh, okay. We're still okay. Heading there now. Trying to move as slowly as possible. Oh man, this is this is nerve wracking, guys. Oh, you don't know. You don't know how nerve wracking this is. I think I'm gonna take like a spot maybe back that. here. I just hope for the best. I don't. I don't really know. Oh boy. Roger that. Okay. Not sure what that's I want to do with tech though. See that's that's where we get into the problem. Like those guys are fine, right? I need JC. I guess I can move there. Can't really do anything with them. I guess what's Captain Surprise Lake Kirk? You're the last one that can really move. Alright guys, let's see what's next. We're gonna backspace it up and then we're gonna go over this little crest, this ridge, this hill, this whatever. And we're gonna we're gonna find out what's up. On my way. Apparently Is this nothing. What the aliens do for fun? At least they're not playing computer games. Thank you, Dr. Shen. You're so funny. Ha 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 ha. My sides are hurting from laughing so hard. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Well, that was far less climatic than I thought it might be. The climax, definitely not there. Alright. 
Let's get up here with our boys. Okay, let's move them slightly further. Moving to position. Uh, still really, really trying not to get myself into a position where I have to do battle just yet. I'm, I'm close, but I'm not quite there yet. Alright, Lady JC, I think I'm just going to stick you right there on the ramp. Johnny Casino Rico, Heavy step one change. step further, don't aggro anything, good. And Tack, you can hide right here, buddy. Alright, I think this is going to be the last group, I'm hoping this is going to be the last group, and I'm hoping it's something that we can actually handle. We'll find out soon enough, I suppose. I'm on it, Commander. Hostile spotted. That is the last group. Or so it appears. Not sure that we can handle it though. Is clearly different from the others. What alien? It's wielding a power unlike anything we've previously encountered. What, what, the sectoid commander? You know we've we've dealt with these guys like plenty of times by now, right? Like this is nothing new to us. Alright, let's squad sight you out. The Briggle set. The Briggle sack to you too. All right, what's next? Uh, yeah, I can do that one. Come on, impress us. You missed. It's okay. That's okay. Johnny Casino Rico can definitely move up and hunker down. Uh oh, oh, never mind. I forgot those guys are there. Dang it. Okay. We might be getting grenades thrown at us. I'm just gonna sit here with him. Right, Yeti Wood. Gonna hunker down. That's affirmative. Oh, it's actually gonna trigger, huh? I might back up with him. I don't know what that's gonna do. Oh, and I hit too. I think Commander Jace is gonna have to back up. As much as I don't want to, I don't think I have a choice anymore. We're really, really running out of power right now, guys. Alright, we don't quite have the, the toss I was hoping for. And Lady JC, I guess you move up into position over here and we're going to throw a, a smoke grenade on our peeps. And we're going to hope they all survive. Now we're still going to move uh, Murphy's Law back in a minute. I'm on it, Commander. Murphy's Law over here. <sighs> Alright. I'm about to find out what's next. The hunker down abilities there. I'm hoping grenades don't fly up. But I have a bad feeling they're going to. And there's some movement going on, though we don't see anything because of the hunker down abilities. Uh, somebody's on the move. That could be really, really bad for us. Alright. So the hunker down is fine. Alright, we have a few shots here. We have a lot of overwatching. Hmm. You know what? I think I might even just reload right now. Rock and roll! Alright, I'm going to go for the 76 on you. And... I guess I'll go for the 86 to finish you. And then we miss, of course, because, you know, that was going to happen. Alright, we're going to try to get the 98 and finish you off. And there it is, victory. Very nice. The 68 over there. Ooh, that actually worked out really well. As much as I'd like to use Commander Jace to finish this off, I don't think that's possible. Going to Overwatch here. Uh, can we move one step further without being seen? Kind of, but that's not going to work. Hmm. It's going to back up then. I don't think we can actually do anything with him. Alright, I'm 
gonna overwatch. Murphy's Law is gonna overwatch as well. We're missing at least one robot. I thought they had two robots. We're missing at least one of them. And these guys that we still have to deal with. We're generating five health, and the robot, I don't know where he went. Which is kind of an issue, but... It's not that big of an issue. 67%. Looks like we're getting a kill on that guy. And with another double tap, can we land at least a shot on him? Nope. I should have probably launched with a Jenny Casino Rico first, but we're going to go for this kill. Totally missed because, again, 76%. Oh, 76% is not truly 76%. And we're going to go for the 88 on you. It actually did some damage, and I guess that's really about it. Headed there now. Overwatch. I'm gonna see. I, I'm assuming that somebody's down there. That's my guess. I'm gonna assume the robot guy is down on the other side of this thing. And I am totally wrong. He is not there at all. Okay. It's your move. You're gonna come here. You're gonna play Overwatch again? Yeah. It's like that's his. His sole goal in life right now is just to continually overwatch. Alright, well, let's try Blood Mantis's finishing move here. You know what? Forget Blood Mantis's finishing move. Why don't we try you actually landing your attack this time, buddy? Yeah, oh my god, you're so bad. How are you this bad at aiming? There you go. There you go. Oh man, I thought something was coming behind. I was like, oh god. That doesn't really instill a lot of confidence in me. Alright. Well, we're gonna have to start figuring out where this guy ended up at. Getting some prep work done. He ran down here somewhere. And we're gonna have to find him. I'll throw the grenade over the side there. And, nope, not there either. Man, where did he go? I just hope he doesn't come out of like some really, really, really bad corner and just wreck us. Cause that would make me super sad. I mean, we made it all the way here, guys. We're all the way at the last, the last leg of our journey. Oh, there he is. Oh no. Oh. Sorry about that, folks. I had to turn off Steam. I was getting messages and Mutanot called and everything else. And I actually hit the wrong button and ended the recording. And then I played two more turns and, well, uh, long story short, uh, I finished it, but I had to reload and autosave because, well, I'm stupid. And like I said, I hit the wrong bouton. All right, so we have line of sight here with this guy. So what I'm going to try to do is hopefully hide behind here and land a shot just to annoy him. And we're going to have to be very careful because there I'm still pretty sure there's... Well, I know now, but I was saying this before, too. I'm pretty sure there's still two of them around. And if indeed there are two of them around... Yeah, okay, there he is. I actually didn't know I would see him from that angle. Uh, we're still gonna have to be very, very cautious. Um, let's move there. Brett Yeti Wood, I'm gonna stick oh, right over here, which is not exactly the safest plan, but I think it'll be okay. I'm gonna wait on Commander Jace. Lady JC, I'm gonna move back Sushi. here. Again, this could all be very, very bad. I don't know if it's going to work out exactly the same. Like, I almost lost Commander Jace. I'm more or less following the exact rules. I'm just wondering. Um, they fired up here, but they missed my guys. So, again, I, I realize it's all RNG, but yeah, it, it sucks. So this is exactly what I was talking about. It's stupid stuff like this that happens that I, I really, really hate. Um, playing on Iron Man mode, because you guys would miss out on these last, like, three turns. These are the last two guys, by the way. Just so you guys know. Alright. 
Let's just do that. And let's hope for the best here. Alright, they're gonna move forward, which is weird because they didn't do that last time. But I suppose it's fine. And is this guy gonna do the same exact thing too? No, he's gonna do it a little bit differently. Okay, so that happened. I think you're out of line of sight of my sniper. Of course you are now, so that is super useful. Alright, well we should have to double tap to kill this guy off, which is sweet, sweet nice. And I think we might have enough power to actually defeat the other guy as well, so we'll see here in just a moment. We'll see here in just a moment. Going to try... On my way. To move Jace over here. How in the blue blazes do we not have line of sight right now? Someone explain this to me, because I am at a complete, total, and utter loss. Like, seriously. How is it conceivably possible that we do not have line of sight? Order's confirmed. Moving out. Alright, gonna hop on down. Okay, he's right there. Oh gosh. Really? He's going to overwatch from there, too. That's probably going to hit me really hard. He's probably going to get a kill here somehow. He did not do this last time, guys. Just so you know, this is a little bit a little bit weird, for lack of a better term. Alright, it's, it's more than a little bit. It's exceptionally weird, but still, you get the idea. Alright, so we're going to do that. I don't think we have enough oomph to kill it with Tack. Or Murphy's Law. Yes, sir. Move Murphy's Law over here. And I guess with Tack, we just wait it out. And Captain Surprise Lake Kirk. What can we do with you, good sir? Stick you right back behind here, I guess. And given a little tiny bit of luck, maybe we survive this. Alright, here comes some overwatching. And we missed the overwatch at like point blank range, because we're awesome. I just hope that they... Who are they going to go for? Who are they going to go for? Yeah, you should be able to survive that. Yeah, you're definitely going into into death mode after this, but you know what? It's okay. It's okay. Alright guys, here it is. Here is the end of this episode. Well, almost. We're getting close to the end of the episode. Commander Jace has earned this, taking a lot of tanking. Everybody earned this victory, actually, guys. Every single one of you on this mission has like earned this victory. See, there you go, 51. I should have told now you guys the number, I'm the sorry. Device. The aliens are running out of secrets. <sighs> it's imperative that we begin the research as soon as possible. Yeah, yeah, now yeah. Now that we've captured this device, we should probably be expecting the aliens to pursue us more aggressively. Don't say stuff like I that. I doubt losing it was part of their plan. See, don't say stuff like that, Dr. Shen. They've already been super aggressive. We don't need them to be any more aggressive. Anyhow, 51 kills. We got through it. There's going to be a lot of people going to the hospital. It's been a bit unpleasant. The last little change up there actually threw me off quite a bit. But simply is what it is. And here we are. Back at base with the new cinematic. Commander. I'm glad to see that I'm not the only one who understands this war isn't over yet. The existence of this artifact, which we believe to be a communication device of some kind, begs the question. If the sectoid commander was the alien leader, then who or what was it communicating with? I believe this is indeed the same creature we encountered when we made first contact with the aliens. As we have observed, it is somehow capable of using its mind as a weapon. If we were to study this specimen's brain tissue, perhaps we might be able to adapt this ability for our own purposes. Well, there you have it, folks. There you have it. All right, let's take a look overall. The hyperwave beacon is there. Promotions all around, yeah. Three people got promoted. Uh, lots of wounded, 13 days, 27 days, 34 days, and 23. All things considered, not that bad, considering how rough that was. 51 kills. 51 kills. So we're looking at 58 for Murphy's Law, 109. He did a lot of work that time around. And he's still fine, which is beautiful. Sweet, sweet, nice, or she in this case. 
74 for Johnny Casino Rico, the door opener himself. Tack, wounded sadly, but 70 kills now. Definitely looking good. Brett Yeti Wood is at 64. Commander Jace rocking 74. And let's see, uh, Captain Surprise Lake Kirk at 33 and Lady JC at 31. So those two might not be the top murdering fools that we need, but you know, we used pretty much everything. I, I guess Captain Surprise Lake Kirk had a couple of grenades left over, but I still feel there was quite a bit done there that we needed to get done. All right, let's do Commander Chase first here. Allows two destructive grenades in a single inventory slot, and the soldier may throw grenades 20% further. How does that work? Uh, vital point targeting. Uh, confers two bonus damage with guns against humans. Okay. Uh, reduces most incoming damage to this unit, scaling up as damage increases. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Let's get that. Okay, Brett Yeti Wood, welcome to Master Sergeantry. Alright, no? No, probably not. And Mayhem. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do some Mayhem. Uh, actually, hold on. Let me reconsider that. Two reaction shots. They're all pretty darn good. I think I decided, like, Sentinel was better than the rest, but... Because I do Overwatch quite frequently with our gunners, especially when we do like a death hallway or something like that. You know what? I'm going to go with Mayhem. I might be mixing and matching a little bit here, but that's okay. Alright, and then of course Tack leveled up to uh, Master Sergeant as well. And he's now the highest level assault. Still the highest level assault, I should say. Uh, immunity to critical hits. That might actually be the most useful for an assault. What else? Bonus damage, and then what's this? Oh my god, lightning reflect. Nope, I don't care. Done. Done. Doesn't matter. Immun immunity critical hits, pretty darn important, but the fact that I could actually dodge shots, yeah. That would have changed everything. Alien Communications is now available. We recovered the Hyperwave Beacon and a whole bunch of other crap. Uh, let's see. Alien Entertainment, which I think I can sell, probably. And quite a few other things. Alien surgeries that are damaged. I mean, it's it's pretty good. Hey, XCOM infiltrated and eliminated the alien base in Japan. The country has rejoined the XCOM we Council. Will be in touch, yeah. Commander. Oh, look at us getting a decent supply of uh, monthly fundages again. That's pretty sweet. Alright, so let's take a look real quick, guys. I know this episode's going a little long. Uh, let's take a look at Japan. Not super happy, but they did rejoin us. And with all those satellites... We're one away. Hmm. <sighs> it's been a rough, rough little dealie here. Um, I'm going to wait it out with my money until we can see what it's going to cost to build the Firestorm. Which is what I'm assuming is going to come when we get Alien Propulsion done. Either way, folks, that's going to do it for this long base assault mission. I do apologize for having to break it up and then redoing the last two turns, but it simply was what it was. Um, yeah, I left I left Steam on, and a few people were messaging me, and it's like, eh, one or two I didn't want to ignore. And then Mutanot was messaging me, he's like, hey, blah, 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 and then he called me on Skype, and I'm like, ugh. So I had to pause, and then when I hit something, I went to close it, I hit the wrong button, which closed my program. It was just a mess. I apologize, folks. I am sorry. I'll try to make sure I'm a little bit better off. I assume this is actually going to go just a little bit quicker. And if that was the case, I would have been done by the time he called and everything else. Anyway, I do apologize. But that's going to do it for this episode. I want to thank you all for stopping by the Freak Show. We slaughtered the alien base. We have the artifact. Things are looking up. Maybe. Maybe they are. I don't know. They feel like they're looking up. Our guys are getting more and more powerful as we go on. So, yeah. Wounds. Injuries. It happens. It happens. But eh, it is what it is. I'll catch you guys tomorrow with more XCOM Long War. Until then, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later.